To me, France is like a sampler of Europe. From east, west, north and south, this country is so diverse. I'm talking about culture, about landscapes, about gastronomy, of course, about history. It has been fabulous. Everything I've ever dreamed for over 30 years. We have hit all the spots that I had on my bucket list. Gate One's Kaleidoscope of France departs from Paris to explore the famous chateaus of the Loire Valley. We then travel to the coast to visit the iconic Mont Saint-Michel and the historic landing beaches of Normandy. Next, it's back to explore the famous sites of Paris more fully before taking the high-speed train to the beautiful south of France, where we will explore the sites of Avignon, Cannes, Monte Carlo, and Nice. This trip lets you experience the best of France's historic sites, incredible scenery, and rich culture. The city of Paris is just the perfect place to explore, to discover. We are going to a city tour of Paris with a local guide. There are so many monuments, so much history that is like an open museum. You know, people have been living here for more than 2,000 years. So from all the ages, all those centuries, they left something that nowadays you can see. Versailles is amazing, breathtakingly amazing. I think what really made it special was Gate One had a, a local tour guide. So as you're walking through these rooms, they really brought it to life. The fountains, the artwork, the enormity of that entire gardens is something you, you couldn't imagine. It, it is absolutely breathtaking. It, it is gorgeous. The Loire Valley was just absolutely beautiful. All the fairy tale castles that I dreamed of as a child. We visit the beautiful castle of the Chenonceau, also nicknamed the Ladies' Castle. And after that, we drive on to Amboise. Amboise was a royal city as well. It's great to learn the history of the chateaus and the kings and queens that have ruled France and the backstory behind the people and the culture. So from the Roi Valley, we continue the journey to Mont Saint-Michel. We are walking to the viewpoint of Mont Saint-Michel. That's also an abbey on top of this rock that was built in the 8th century. From there, we are going to visit the landing beaches where D-Day took place on June the 6th, 1944. When you're on that land and you, you just try and just visualize the, the battle that, that occurred, it's just awe inspiring. It's, it's just hard to describe. Standing there and looking at the field of white crosses is so impressive. And the crosses are framed by two American flags. And to see where so many of our young men died in trying to keep us free. It was a powerful experience. The journey continues to the southern part of France. We're going to discover something completely different from what we have been seeing previously on the tour. In Avignon, we will visit the Pope's Palace to see this huge Gothic building. Seven popes lived in Avignon in the 14th century. Our hotel is situated just next to the main square where all the restaurants are. I really enjoyed the day that we explored the small towns around Provence. Le Beau is this charming little village up on a hilltop. It was built in the Middle Ages and you can walk the narrow cobblestone streets and visit all the lavender themed shops. We also got to visit Arles and Saint Remy, which were also really beautiful places to just stroll around. And it's where Vincent van Gogh painted hundreds of his paintings toward the end of his life. So here we are in Nice at the French Riviera. We're going to discover this beautiful Mediterranean sea with the azure color of the water. Nice is a very Italian-inspired city. Colorful facade of the houses. Of course, uh, the location of the beach very close to the city center is a great feature for the city. During our stay on the French Riviera, we have the opportunity of going to Monte Carlo. And in Monte Carlo, we will see the famous casino that was built by Charles Garnier and the beautiful view over the bay. The food in France has been fabulous. You know what I love about the French food? 
No one is able to tell me one national dish. I'm trying to think of what was my favorite. The cheeses have been so marvelous. Each province has its own local dish, its own gastronomy. The dinners with Gate One have been amazing because they've been like three and four course dinners. Their meals have been incredible. Every meal has live entertainment. This is a dream trip for us, and Gate One has made it wonderful because we've had such great fun meeting people and traveling this way with other people who shared our interest visiting all these places. Et bon appétit! Gate One has just been always great for us. This trip has exceeded all of our expectations and then some. Every day you experience something that, that isn't in the script or isn't in your itinerary. This is our first time with Gate One. We're sold. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back on Gate One because it has been a wonderful trip and everything's taken care of. Didn't have to worry about luggage, didn't have to worry about transportation. Gate One has had great tours and also the tour guides, which they seem to have handpicked knowledgeable, very accommodating people. I think Gate One has a very good reputation for picking their guides well and picking their hotels well because the hotels have also been always wonderful. I would absolutely recommend this trip to anyone. who couldn't ask for anything more beautiful, more wonderful, more inspirational. I would even come back and do this one again. You know, it's just, it was beautiful. The most important thing for us is for the travelers to have the experience of a lifetime. We want the travelers to come back from the trip feeling like they were part of the local life and they know the country like local people would know it. So come to France with Gate One. We'll take you to the most beautiful places, you'll try the best food and we'll have a good time. Bienvenue en France. Come to France, let me show you how beautiful this country is.